Get free online support, coaching, watch videos, and much, much more at www.bnbhostsupport.com. That's www.bnbhostsupport.com. Good morning. How are you? Mark here. Um, sorry, I was having some technical difficulties recording yesterday. Um, maybe some new plug-in. Katie, I got your message. You're at Oberon. I'm actually at Nashville, which is uh, just uh, west. We're on Mount Knoblis uh, near Orange. Um, you've got five acres. I'm on the five acres, so it can be done. Two queen size rooms and one double room. Um, two baths. Open plan living, two years old. Okay, so that's good. Ours is about 120. Um, I designed the property for luxury living. Very nice. Has it got a spa, uh, like a, um, a hot tub or anything like that? That that would be very popular. And winter in Oberon uh, should be um, really, really a busy time. I actually don't know if there's any uh, wineries there, but sh um, but um, we certainly get a big foodie and wine crowd here. Uh, I cater for horses. Do you have stables? Uh, if you have stables, then um, put that in. Um, and yes, you do need to check on insurance because sometimes um, horses, having horses on the property can actually void your insurance policy. So um, that's uh, free. Um, I wouldn't even call it advice, but it's just a little warning for you um, to look into that. And by the way, you can speed this up if I'm talking too slow. So you can, um, in the bottom corner here, there's there's a speed, you can up it. So uh, you cater for horses as there, so uh, is there fences, is there water? Uh, horses use a lot of water. I did have horses adjusting here for a while. And anyway, my insurance company told me I had to get rid of them. Um, and I couldn't promote them in any way. I couldn't have them on in any photos or anything like that, or else that would um, void my insurance. So horses are a big risk. And if people ride on your property, that is also probably a very, very large risk. Uh, they fall off and can have some sort of catastrophic injury. Um, uh, I only want to host on weekends. So will you go away? Um, what What's the situation there? Do you... Uh, only uh, rent one of the rooms or some of the rooms or whatever. I'm not sure, but you can do either. You can be in the premises um, and just rent a room, which is called private rooms, or you can do the entire house, which is uh, a little bit more popular, you know, like 10 times more popular. Um, so, um, um, so insurance, I, I think you need to talk to people about uh, landlord insurance. Uh, you can get, you can just literally Google that. Uh, it will be higher probably than, um, uh, the insurance is probably going to be higher than owner-occupied um, insurance. So um, I guess there's probably a, a greater risk for malicious damage um, uh, or even accidental damage. Um, uh, you're using it for business purposes. Um, so you must disclose that you're uh, using it for Airbnb. So um, there are some insurance brokerages and there's probably an insurance brokerage in your town uh, in Oberon that I'd suggest you, you go and speak to. And um, it might be worth your while getting a, um, uh, like a B&B type insurance. Um, how regularly Airbnb pay into my account? Well, uh, you get paid um, the day after people check in. So if they check in on a Friday, usually there's money in what's called a PayPal account. Um, you can you, you can get it in the PayPal account the next day, or uh, it's three or four, or five days. Yeah, you know, it's longer into your um, bank account. So personally. I take it into, I take it into PayPal, and um, and uh, you can actually get money from PayPal to your own account in under ten minutes. They do charge a like a one percent fee, um, so well capped at ten dollars. So um, any of these sorts of questions, very very happy to help. Uh, please give me a uh, send me another message. We can arrange a. Um, a Zoom if you need to. 
Um, if you've got any specific questions, send me a list of all the questions and we'll schedule some time. Thanks very much. Uh, it is a very rewarding thing. I got into Airbnb because I couldn't find a tenant. It was too much land and none of the tenants were willing to maintain the gardens. Um, and the gardens here on five acres is a lot of work. We've got um, paddocks as well. We've got some sheep that do most of the work eating the paddock, but um, I couldn't find a tenant. So, um, uh, and I was living at the time, I was a student in Sydney and um, we got on to Airbnb as a, as a last resort because we just couldn't um, find a tenant. But um, it has been very rewarding meeting very interesting and nice people um, and hosting them and um, also uh, financially um, probably much better returns. Probably. I don't know over on that well, but um, probably much better returns than uh, you'd get from uh, renting it uh, on the long stay thing. We can have vacancies so, though. So you've got to uh, factor that in. Okay, uh, I'd probably also suggest you have a look at a, a website called AirDNA. Um, it's one word, airdna.com or something. Um, and um, uh, it should be able to give you some information on uh, the demand, the numbers of places that there are in Oberon um, and um, roughly what they charge, those sorts of things. Okay, good luck. Bye, Katie. Get free online support, coaching, watch videos, and much, much more at www.bnbhostsupport.com. That's www.bnbhostsupport.com.